For over a century now, man has been driven by a fascination with flight. Let's face it though, your typical commercial airplane ride is actually pretty boring. It's routine and it's sometimes even unpleasant. Today we're learning about a better way to fly, a way some of us only dream of. We're going to find out what it takes to perform maneuvers that leave airshow audiences breathless, and we're going to do it in the most popular aerobatic aircraft in the world. I'm Nick Wilson. Join me in my quest to find out what it really takes to get off the ground and how aircraft design is ultimately driven by a passion for flight. Meet the Pitt Special S2C, the latest addition to the Pitts family. In the world of aerobatic aircraft, this design has served as the quintessential aerobatic performer for over 60 years. And it has won more unlimited class aerobatic contests than any other design in history. You might be wondering, what makes the Pitt Special so special? Well, it's hard to say. Just like in basketball, it's all about good fundamentals. Simple but effective seems to have been the mantra of the Pitt Special lineup since it was first designed and built by Curtis Pitts back in 1945. Now Curtis was a self-taught engineer and he used his experience from aircraft inspection in World War II to design a simple but effective aerobatic aircraft. The first prototype set a new standard for aerobatic performance and it continues to be the standard by which all aerobatic aircraft are judged to this day. What is it that made this longevity possible? Well, it turns out you can teach an old dog new tricks. You just gotta keep feeding it more and more horsepower as you go. The first engine in a pit special produced a whopping 55 horsepower, and it flew excellently in its day. But today's pointed up and go aerobatic stylings require more power a lot more power. You need at least three times that much power. But for the S2C, since it's the family model, has room for two, you better make it say five and a half times that much power just to be on the safe side. So what you end up with is a 260 horsepower, 540 cubic inch fire breathing monster. It's housed in a six cylinder Lycoming engine and linked to a three bladed Hartzell composite propeller. So what are we waiting for? Well, you don't just climb in the pit special and go. You need some quality training. And for that, we came to the best. Today, we're at the world's premier precision flight training school, the Tutima Academy of Aviation Safety in King City, California. What makes Tutima the best? Well, for starters, their president and founder is none other than airshow legend, Sean D. Tucker. In 2003, the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum named Sean one of the top 25 living legends of aviation. Now this is an honor he shares with aviation icons by the names of General Chuck Yeager, John Glenn, and Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man. The Two Team Academy now offers some of the finest training in the world in a unique environment. From basic to advanced aerobatic competition, and from stall spin recognition to formation aerobatic flight. Today, the folks at Tatima have offered to give us some aerobatic instruction in the pit special at the hands of one of their extremely talented instructors, their director of operations, Ben Freela. Our purpose is to make it clear and simple, give you rules that are going to save your life someday. This type of flying makes a pilot a safer pilot. If they're in any airplane and they're faced with a loss of control situation or something that requires them to sort of have just better stick and rudder skills, they're good to go. All right then. <laughs> I guess I'll take your word for it. Just wave, thumbs up, and then we're gonna go away. You're all set? Yep, let's go. Oh yeah. 
Huh? 